Y'all probably say, where exactly are you going with this? I see you really trying to take it there. Old school flow, chew you out. Ain't fair, Jordan Pairs. Yo, what up, YouTube? It's your boy, Zai. You already know what time it is. But basically, man, before I even get into what I want to get into, because you can tell by the title exactly where I'm going to go with it. So if you're sensitive to topics such as this or you feel some type of way about it, just go ahead and skip the whole thing entirely because I will get into certain things that might uh, possibly upset you and a lot of other people uh, for the ones that are more sensitive. Now, before I get into that, man, shout out to everybody that followed the channel. Of course, my allergies are messing with me once again. For the people that are new to the channel, man, hit that bell uh, and subscribe to get all notifications for uh, future videos to come. Now, I understand if you're if you're new to this channel, I do talk about all types of topics. I just did one about the Great Reset. Hopefully, you already watched that video. Run the views up on that. Tell your friend exactly what's to come. And hopefully, you don't label me as a conspiracist because, you know. Uh, but, yeah, if you subscribe, man, you know. And, or you support the channel. I will be having other future content coming up that you might possibly like. Now, let's get into the meat and potatoes of the whole reason why I brought this up. Because I seen a guy that was actually not just a guy. I seen a guy and a few other people. But I've been seeing this. Over, I've seen this over the course of me, uh, you know, gaining age or just getting older and the, and the things that I've been through in my life and the fact that uh, I've seen it. I've seen it uh, numerous times where people. Uh, don't necessarily like their kids it's not that they don't like their kid it's just they don't always like their kid and they've always been ostracized for that certain thing and at that time I couldn't uh couldn't uh really uh get where they were going with it because I was like how can't you like your kids like what type of person doesn't like their kids but as you get older you come to understand that you're not always gonna like your kids your kids are always gonna do shit that's gonna piss you off whether it's the way you know, maybe maybe there's a certain way that they act. Yeah, you're, you're, you're not always going to like your kids. Your kids are always going to do things that's going to upset you in some way or another. Now, there's a lot of people that, that went in on these on these particular people that are more in, in social media now. So it's more exposed at the fact that they, they said they didn't like their kids. Now, people took it out of context. When they said they didn't like their kids, they, they thought because they didn't hear the entire story that what they were saying is they don't always like their kids. And... As somebody had have been in in certain situations with my own kids, I understand that sentiment and and how you can feel ashamed about it because everybody wants to uh, everybody thinks they're born with that that one parental you know uh, not acknowledgement but that self awareness and that knowing exactly what to do and how to respond to certain things and what is is actually brushed up off your shoulder. So when you get in these situations, you're dealing with 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 children that. You know, after they get to a certain age, they still act like children. You don't really know how to take it, especially people like me that have been in situations where I've been incarcerated. So I got out at a pretty good time. My kids were n not even teens yet, but with my with the way I think and the way that 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 I assume things should go due to my upbringing, when they didn't go that way, uh, uh for the most part, people assumed that I was being volatile, was being too military or you know, uh, too militant, but it was just the the way that my upbringing, I've, like, and I'm the reason I'm going to all this is because I, I I get tired of people trying to act like they got these perfect ass lives, and and they still and 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 then later on you hear something about their kid is here because, you know, they they fail to acknowledge certain things. I'm 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 a prime example of one of those that I'm one of those that have come to. A point in my life where I accept the truths. I'm not always going to like my kids. Let's just be honest. Most of the time, I don't like my kids. It doesn't. It's not that I don't love my kids. I just don't like certain things they do. Like, my kids were... And this is not to really put their business out here. But since, for all disclosure, my kids grew up coddled. They've been in certain situations that weren't exactly ideal. But for the most part, they, they've been coddled. They've been brought up a certain way. They've been... Uh, taught to believe that their opinion should matter all the time and 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 due to those certain uh and due to that and and not uh and and it's no fault of 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 my baby's mom it just you know you try to do the best you can when you're single and and, and uh and and the dad is in jail it's like you, you can only do what you can do but since it was never instilled that their opinion should only matter to a certain point and that that certain things that that 
that they feel entitled about they should not be feeling entitled about it was never ingrained in them so when i got out and 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 my whole thing was a certain way like i i got out i you know i worked out i cleaned uh you know i tried to be that guy you know to to be nice and and, and clean their rooms because I, I i did it a certain way i expected things to be did a certain way and when they weren't at first it was no problem i felt like you know as a father i should be doing things or as a dad because i didn't get a chance to necessarily be a father now yes but at that time no because they were already uh, uh you know n not teens but they were already older so i came in at a time where it was just uh instilling more uh uh discipline in anything and and the reason i chose to to go about it that route because i had seen things that were taking place in the house as far as like subtle disrespect people getting away with certain things and and the way i grew up it, it wasn't tolerated if you were disrespectful in any way any shape or form you're dealt with off the back and if and if and my mom was a strong woman so it's like she didn't allow it like if you thought you could get over on her there was issues that were gonna come out of that and even if she didn't have to i grew up in an era where we we didn't get our 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 butts whooped just by our our mom if we were doing something bad or we messed up in school we whoever picked us up whipped our butt first and whoever was feeling frustrated at the house that day you know just to be honest whipped our butt and then when our mom got home she whipped the butt because it's like bam you know how how dare you uh you know st basically show your ass like that like you you're showing out in school you're doing stupid stuff now all these people got to be uh in the business on how uh you conduct yourself and and i was like a, a straight mess up like in school i was a, a fighter i fought every every time i went to school my mom would pray and tell me please man just do good today in school and i would be like yeah you know for her i would try and then i would fight a every elementary every Every elementary I went to, even junior high, I was fighting. Like, and and would get kicked out. I was getting suspended left and right. I went to some other junior high school, got suspended every other day until they finally kicked me out of that school. They kicked me out of LA Unified because I was just a mess up. I was a fighter, and and it was just what it is. I I I just used to fight, and it, and and I'm not gonna go into my upbringing and why I became that way. It's just we'll just say that I just like to fight, so that caused a lot of trouble. Now. The reason I say all that to say this is because even at that time, being the unruly, tiny savage that I was, uh, I knew respect. I don't cuss in front of my mom. I don't allow people. If it's like uncles and stuff, like I can't really say nothing. But as far as like siblings and and cousins, like I, if they cuss in front of my mom, I will let them know that that that's not tolerated. And if they don't respect it after that, we will have serious issues. You know what I mean? Like. There, there has been nobody outside of, you know, my kids that rank above that. And even that's like a, you know, because my mom is my everything and people know that. So they choose to tread lightly when it comes to her. Now, I brought all that up to to just to sh give you a, an idea of how I am and how I was brought up. And no matter how bad I was and how many schools I ca got kicked out and how long I gangbang and what things i did to 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 you know mess up in life i still retain that level of of respect but you know we we don't all get that you know what i mean and the fact that 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 people are uh, uh are upset at these people for being honest is is appalling and the reason i say appalling is because they're not being honest with their self i we are not the selected uh, you know few there's a lot of people out there that that at most times dislike their kids and i'll say it again it's not that they don't love them they dislike them and the things that they do how many parents have brought their kids up to be you know a, a pillar of society uh, you know what i mean and 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 then turn around and your kids in prison for some bull you know what i mean because he chose to go another route and you just really can't wrap your head around that fact of why he went that way i know my mom loves me more than anything, but I know that I was a thorn in her side most of my life because I was a fuck up. And you know what I mean? And it's like, but I still respected her. But nowadays, kids are not taught that. That's why, you know, I, I, I hear this. I hear this a lot, like with with my kid's mom. Like she tries to like, you know, she try to show me different ways to like 
you know, to get used to certain things and parenting and, and, and how to absorb certain things and let other things slide. And for the most part, a lot of it I absorbed. I was uh, not necessarily looking to hear that because I see things a certain way and they had to be that way. And anything outside of that just was not like my kids can't walk in in, in a room and, and don't address me. I don't care if they're mad, whatever. Like I expect to be addressed. And if they don't, then I'll go batch. You know what I mean? At, at first I would, I would lose my uh, cool quick. Like I had no chill in it. it. It went from you're my kids to, Oh, you're like somebody on the street because I expect to be respected. And it took me a long time to get past the fact of, you know, they're brought up a certain way and they're not always going to follow the same logic and upbringing that we are brought. Because a lot of us that are of, of my generation were taught that if a, if, if a, if a adult walks in the room, regardless of what you feel about them, you were to address them high and then go on about your business. But you will address them because an adult has we were taught that when an adult walks in the house, regardless of where we're at in the house, we came to that living room, we told them hi, and it went on about our business because it was a level of respect that was ingrained in us. My kid's mom did the best she could, but what she, where, where she made a mistake was allowing them to think that they didn't have to, that if you don't, if you, if, if you're not, if you're having a disagreement with this person, it, it's best just to go on about your way and don't address it that was the wrong way of doing things but we all learn you know that that there's certain ways that you shouldn't do things and and to this day like there's still uh you know certain issues but for the most part i've learned to uh get past a lot of things and things that just really ain't that serious i you know i i tend to overlook but if it's outright disrespect like like, you know, being loud and, and things of that nature, that I may let it go for a second. You know, like when 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 somebody is asleep and, and, you know, people are being loud in the house, I will address that. I try to go about it another way. But after a while, the old me creeps back and I just ain't having it because anybody that lives in their parents house should understand that every, there's rules that are set. And if you choose not to follow them, then you choose to embrace what may come next. And 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 my house knows that I'm the type that I don't really like talking too much. And when I'm talking, I'm getting angry and I, cause I feel like I shouldn't have to talk to you that it should just be known. Like it's just common sense. Be quiet, clean after yourself. And, and, and that's a prime example. The, the, the person, the people that were putting up the thing, the most thing that they were talking about is funny. And I don't know if this is with every kid, but was their kids were just dirty. Like, you know, they didn't want to handle their business you know, but it was worse for them because their kids didn't want to work, they didn't want to do nothing. But they, all they wanted to do is is hang around all day and 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 do God knows what. But that was the reason why that they had that they didn't like their kids. But the whole thing was they didn't always like their kids. They loved their kids, but they didn't always like them. And for any parent to get on social media and say that that's wrong must not have kids because I can guarantee you even the the staunchest Christian is going to at some point have issue or take issue with their children. Their, your, your child is not always going to follow logic. They're not always going to do what you expect them to do, and it's going to frustrate you. And in that moment of frustration, you're not going to like them. You know what I'm saying? So when I see people come on here and, and they, they ostracize these people for being honest, it's just like shame on you because it's, it's real. Not you got some people that hate their kids and that that's different. Dislike my kids at, at at times, yeah. Love my kids, I do. And 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 regardless of the age, I love my kids. But sometimes I just can't stand them because they do shit that that warrants a straight ass whooping. You know what I mean? But it's like you can't really do that because you know it it's, it, it 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 creates other. You know, and it's not to say that I haven't tried because I'm just one of those type that I'm just honest. You know, if if I don't like what you're doing and it frustrates me to the point to where I feel like you're just trying to take advantage of me, I'm going to try to take your head off regardless. I don't care. Cop this, that, whatever. I'm going to get mine. You know what I mean? Regardless of what what the ramification behind it is, I don't care. Like, I, I, I feel like I'm going to be respected. You're going to respect her. I'm going to try to break all your teeth. Like, it's just and that that's the wrong way of thinking. Some parents are. uh a lot more passive so they allow their kids to get away with murder but i'm not that tight you know what i mean and that's why a lot of times there's issue but i'm not married 
to them you know what i mean i'm, I'm you know it, they, it's a difference it's like when a, a lot of people fail to realize that you're not married to your kids it, you're you were an item with their parents before they even came about they were just something that came about in the process unless you were just planned but even then you were just you came along with the package in the end it's something that that you guys either thought about or it, it happened accidentally but regardless you are an added an additive to it you're chill you're you are children but you're still an additive so you still have to earn that that you know what i mean you got you got love and then there's unconditional love it, you can be love and not be love unconditional because you could just be one of those you know that just you know cause more disdain and 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 and, and you know in, in your parents than anything unfortunately i mean not unfortunately but good thing my kids didn't do that like i don't get me wrong like i i deal with the self-entitled the over opinion over opinionated uh you know uh messiness you know what i mean not really want to clean after their self which is crazy because my parents are both anocentric about cleaning that like they and and my kid's mom is the same she anocentric about cleaning she it's like ocd like she got to clean everything you know what i mean so it's like when when you see when when you come from parents like that and and you still and you didn't pick that up it, it's like mind-boggling and and you know so but I, I these are with every this is with every kid you know what i mean i mean there's a lot of kids that are <coughs> really clean you know what i mean I, i've seen them and got family members that got kids that are really like into their everything you know from their hygiene to their surroundings everything so they're they're their uh aboding or their spots that they lay their head are impeccable but not every kid's like that and at first i did not understand it and and hated that it, and, and i use the word hate not lightly i felt like every kid should 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 you know lead by example it's like we lead by example i clean base on clean you know, my mom come over, she cleans, you know what I mean? It's one of those things. So you figure that the people would pick up after that, but it doesn't always go like that. And you just got to get used to it, not used to it, but you just get to a point to where if it's not that serious, you kind of let it go. And don't get me wrong. This is not to, uh, you know, shit on my kids. This is just to put it out there that my life is not perfect. So when I see people out there making uh, videos that they, they're not all that they don't like their kids i i can feel them I, I i feel them on that on a level to where it's like look at we all know that we're not, not always gonna like our kids they do fucked up shit and sometimes your kids are little assholes and, and they're shitty you know what i mean it's just what level of shitty can you know it's it's different being a, a little dirty and not really want to clean after yourself is different than you know your your kids actually trying to put hands on you that would end in a in a sentence of somewhere they don't want to go to but not jail you know not for parents like me but but you know you you as long as they're not you know challenging you and doing certain things it's pretty much you know hey you know not every kid, kid is going to be clean now another thing you know my my kid's mom she you know she likes to you know she said things along the line like you know my i treat my younger one different but i don't there's no difference i I don't treat him different. It's just my my younger son. You know his love is genuine. It's, there's no. We have to be cool in order for 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 me to love you. It's just you know he worries about if I eat. He worries about if if I sleep. He he enjoys seeing me every day. There's no uh, there's no shady history. It's just you know. So I'm I grow with him. You know what I mean. I see him every day. I wake up to see him. You know uh the days that i take in the school you know it, it's like so it, it's a difference but even him and i say all that to say this there's no favoritism but even him sometimes will get on my nerves and he's only eight but he'll get the hell on my nerves and i won't want to deal with him but you i mean they do that kids kids do shit that's frustrating sometimes especially you know when they start being a little terrible and then it's like you have to bring them back to reality like hey i'm not that type of person but i know i'm rambling on i just made this video just to tell people out there you ain't gotta feel bad about it man like you ain't gotta feel bad at the fact that you ain't gonna always like your kids not everybody is perfect not every kid is perfect they're gonna piss you off they're gonna do things that's gonna make you 
want to kill them sometimes, but can't nobody else put their hands on them. I'm really like that. Like, I could be mad at my kids, like, for, like, a week straight. I've, I've been known to do that. But can't nobody else say or do nothing to my kids. Like, like that's a no-no. But that's the difference. There's no hate there. There's, there's genuine love, but it's just, you know, sometimes you dislike your kids because they do stupid shit, you know? It, but... For the parents that, that are out there, you know what I mean? Unfortunately, I was did most of my times incarcerated, but I got out, you know, and I tried to do the best I can, but it was a little bit too harsh at first. It was str- too strict, but it it, it, it wasn't necessarily, in a, in, you know, did wrong. It was just people weren't able to accept it because they, you know, they, they put me, they tried to, put me in a position as far as like to compare me to other people that might have been more loving and more physical and hey you know I wasn't that type you know what I mean and it took it, it and when people realized that that's when the issues really started like uh, you know that's that that's what I'm saying you know what I mean but for the people that have been in their children's life like the whole time without any issue I understand it, man. You you can be you, you're not always gonna like your kids. They're gonna make they're gonna piss you off. They might drop something that that you've been holding since forever, and it's gonna in that instant you're gonna not hate them, but you're gonna dislike them because you're gonna like you know why. But it's just things you got to get over. Now that's pretty much it, man. Don't feel ostracized on on people talking drama on it on the internet that don't even have kids themselves or have never dealt with this type of. But if you got kids, then you know. That you ain't gonna always like them. I don't care how perfect you consider yourself, you know, or, or whether you're a superstar or whatever. Your kids are always gonna give you a headache that you ain't always gonna be abs- absorbed. That's why people beat their kids <laughs> sometimes, like you, you, you know, or, or say that they don't want to call their kids out their names sometimes because it's like they piss you off so much you be hot that you can't do something to them. But that's that's life. God didn't make you perfect, and make your kids perfect. You know, but that's just something you come to terms with. And for the kids that, you know, like like mine that are living in the house. You just got to come to accept it. If you act a certain way, you're going to get a certain response. And I'm good with my kids. But like I said, we ain't going to always like each other because it's just as long as there's respect there. Then we can get past it. Any disrespect ain't tolerated. But for the kids that's living in your in your parents' house, understand you don't run nothing. You will never run nothing. Even you can pay bills, you still won't run nothing. You won't run nothing until you live in your own house. And and you're actually dictating shit. Like as far as like your kids, <laughs> and, and and we laugh all the time because I know eventually when people have their own kids, they're gonna get a full understanding of exactly what it is to have their kids people always be like you know like my kids they're always like oh yeah you know when i have kids i'm gonna be like this no i can already you you it's easy for for somebody's like it's crazy and it's not the this is before i cut off even though this video is long it's crazy how 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 kids think that they actually control certain aspects like they 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 like their their uh, their genetics and all that. Like, <clears throat> not to be an asshole, but you're basically this is this for all kids out there that you know th- this nothing but eighteen year olds on my channel, but and older. But you're basically yolk and an egg. You know what I mean? That's it. it you're you're a seed and an egg. All your genetics, your DNA, everything is made up of what the two people that created you. Or your characteristics are pretty much predetermined. It doesn't mean that you're gonna go that way. There's a strong possibility because it's it's genetically, you're you're genetically programmed in a certain way to be a certain way, and and you can change it. But it doesn't. It's there. You know what I'm saying? It it's there. So the way you conduct yourself, the way your attitude is, the way you freaking look. The way your hair, everything is predetermined by the the DNA that you are created by. Yeah, if you believe in God, then yeah, you know that helps it along. But your genes are your parents, so you know I'll be laughing when my kids be like, uh, they say things like, "Oh yeah, that one's like me," but I just be laughing because I'm like, "Huh? Like you're not even like you. You're 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 something that was created through two people that." 
you know, we made you what you are. I mean, education wise, no, you know what I mean? But as far as like your DNA, your little quirks and your attitudes and your, you got it somewhere out of our DNA. Like it's just, you're not even yourself. You're, you're made up of two people. So you're basically like a offset clone or whatever. <laughs> but yeah, with that being said, man, don't feel bad, man. You ain't going to always like your kids, man. And anybody trying to ostracize you that are freaking idiots that probably don't have kids yourself because you, you're not always going to like your kids, but you learn to get by it. You can, as long as you still love your kids, you can dislike them. I mean, you don't want to dislike them all the time, but there's going to be occasions where you're going to dislike them, but it's, it's human. We are human. God made you human. We have the same faults and everything. Like God made you human. So you're going to get emotional when you're dealing with, with people that don't act like they understand or when your kid goes to jail or something along that line. You're going to get frustrated by it and you're going to call them out on it. But that's what good that's what a good parent does. You don't let them just do anything. You call them on their bull and whether they can understand it or not in the future will benefit them because if you don't, they be on the street doing whatever the hell they want. And sometimes you're predetermined to do that anyway. My mom didn't create this monster. I created my own self. But through the, the, the gene pool, the DNA, I ain't the only one that was like that. So with that being said, you enjoy the rest of your day. Hopefully you watched that video before this one, which is the Great Reset and my take on the whole thing. It may be scatterbrained, but it's my take on it. You enjoy the rest of your day. And I'm out. Kneel before Zod!